Hello everybody and good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Titans, season number two, episode number four, Aqualad. This episode directed by Glenn Winter. And this episode here, this is all flashback. This whole episode is a flashback. And it's a flashback on the original team. I mean, you got Dick as Robin, you got Dove, Hawk, Wonder Girl, and Aqualad. And Aqualad is played by Drew Van um, Ecker. And you pretty much see them, um, you pretty much get introduced to them when they stop um, some hijackers from pretty much stealing some guy's car. They come into the family in, in a dark neighborhood, in a, in a um, bad alleyway. Try, they're lost looking for directions. And so these guys come in, try to pretty much beat the, try to beat the father up, and take his car and stuff and rob him. And then, and then the Titans come in, save the day. And because you see Aqualad, everybody uses their powers and abilities. You see, stop the bad guys, everything's good. Then they're having a party for Aqualad because this is his birthday. And everything seems to be going good. And you have Aqualad trying to pretty much um, get with um, Wonder Girl. Looks like he had been, been had a crush on her for a long period of time since they were kids, and he and he and he and he, and he keeps trying to like pursue her and tell her how he, he wants to be with her and stuff like that too. But for some reason she keeps pushing him away, and I don't know if she tries to push him. She pushes him away. She tries to avoid him altogether. And the, the thing is though, not like she doesn't. You can tell that she likes him, but for some strange reason she's not trying. She's not trying to make a relationship. And then and, and then she tries to pretty much not only to avoid him but also leave and go to the mascara. And so she pretty much tell, tells the person who like helps her or who, who helps her with, with the whole family. Tell her that she that she wants to go back, that she wants to fulfill her destiny. But something that she probably never really cared about or, or looked forward to. But because of Aqualad, she said she was she was like she running scared. And I had no idea why she's running away from Aqualad so much. He seemed like a nice guy. He hasn't done anything bad to her. So like, she, like she's scared to be in a relationship with him. Like, she, she got in her head that he that, 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 that he does some easy going go with the go with the ways type of guy who doesn't really care about anything and so now that she convinced herself which is, doesn't seem like the case at all because this guy has been wanting to be with you for years he hasn't tried to go with anybody else he hasn't pursued any other girls he, he saw you and he saw he thought you were perfect and therefore he wants you in his life he has been waiting patient for you for this long. You, and you still think he's the one easy breezy, I, I go with the flow type of dude? I mean, he may act that way when he does in the field, but that's not that's not really how he is. You can you can see that, right? So I had no idea why she's going to go after him. But so, in spite of the party and the relationship situation, they're pretty much going after Dr. Light. He's, he's trying to he's robbing some banks. And, and, and so, and they end up stopping him. And everything's good. Everything's good. And and you also get introduced to Jericho in this episode here, who is the son of Slate Wilson. <clears throat> now I don't know they're gonna have have his powers in, in this um in this move in this um series. I don't know how far they're gonna you go with him. But it looks like he's on the run. I look like he's with his mom. I think that's what it is. I'm not so sure. And they're like on the run. You can tell that they're hiding because he had the curtains open, exposing himself to the outside to the window. And when she came home, she saw that. She pretty much freaked out. So now, so now I'm going to let, let you know that him and his father are not on good terms. And he's trying to pretty much avoid him and, and hide from him. Okay, they've been running from him for a long time. And also, so there's a slash on his neck. So it looks like probably, that's, that's probably I, think it's, I think it's fine. Because I know he got his, his throat got cut, cut. I think it was his dad that did it. I think it was his dad that did it. So, so he, now he can't talk. So he, he, speak, he speak with sign language. So you get, you, get, you get introduced to him. You get, so you introduce the Jericho and you introduce the Slade in this episode. And, and, and Slade, his, his first appearance, well, was not a pleasant one, especially for Aqualad. Mm, mm, oh. and, and it makes matters even worse. Well, this is a spoiler right here. Aqualad gets killed. But it makes matters even worse that he finally got to be with the girl he wants to be with, sexually, of course. And, and then that she pretty much tried to run away. And then when he finally messed up co with her, the people stop her from leaving, and, then, and she decided to stay, to be with him, he gets killed. Like this, wow, he's not having a good day. I mean, not, not a good couple of years. The girl he always wanted to be with for his whole life, he's been waiting for, and he finally got to be with her. He just had a birthday. He, just, he finally got to be with the girl that he finally, that he, he'd been in love with for so long, and she said yes. And he thought, he thought, he thought, he found her relationship, he gets killed. I just, wow. That sucks. Now the only thing about this episode I don't like is the fact that how Dr. Light, Dr. Light, how Dr. Light costume design looks. It looks terrible. I wish it looked more like the costume from the co from the from the comic books. Comic book. I, 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 I not, it's a lot cooler. Um, I also don't think he, that the guy who played Dr. Light is a, is a great choice for him because he seems to like my, my, he seems to me 
he seemed more like the henchman than the actual, than the actual doctor. Doctor like the actual, actually think he was actual actual scientist. He looks too big and too bulky to to be a scientist. He doesn't seem believable, and the costume design that he's using doesn't really look that good at all. I mean, I get I get it where they're trying, where they're trying to go, but at the same time, like mm, because they, because you got Robin and and and, and Hulk and Dove and their else in their costumes, and then you see him and it's like this cheap knockoff. Bad looking thing. I just what happened to the to the the cool white helmet with the thin thing or the or the, with the cape and the, and the design with the yeah I look, I, look, I, look, I look better but not well. It's what it is. But this time when they, and they had him in the civilian clothes, it made more sense instead of having them confront Dr. Light in the civilian clothes like they did last episode. Because they did because this time they was in the civilian clothes to do to do a lot of recon and see what's going on and then they put on the costume to, to, to confront the bad guy. But this time so so it made more sense this way. Last episode, I was like, why would they... You confronting the bad guy, exposing who you are? That's not good. But, oh well. Overall, the story's still... Cause the story's still, it's the story's still um, going on because now they, they introduced the slave and, and, and they had a, a bad encounter with him. And, and all now you also get to see um, Robin, Dick, and you're at the of Jericho... Which he's pretty much using him to pretty much try to go after the slave. Because he probably figured out that he, that's, his, that's his son. So he thinks that's his way to get in. Which I think is probably a, a bad situation. Which might probably get this boy killed. Which is not good. Not good at all. Which also probably explains the reason why he took in Rose. And he wants to keep her. But, but, is, is Jericho dead? Because in the comic book they thought Jericho was dead too. But he, all, he did, all he did was jump inside of um, Slade's body and took over his body. But I don't know. They're going. I don't know they're going, up, they're going up the direction here. But we'll see what happens. Overall, I, I did enjoy this episode a, a whole lot. Watching the, the old team in action was great, um, and, the, and the relationships they were having. Watching the whole thing was going on between Aqualad and um, Donna Troy was also also, also kind of interesting and, and fun. Now, now I want to say fun to watch because it was really messed up. Because all this whole entire time, you're actually rooting for Aqualad for him to be with her. It's just like, what is wrong with you? He's a good guy. Why are you running away? I mean, everybody, and also interesting in the fact that you've seen that Dick, he's with um, Don, he was he with Dove, and, 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 and with, with he was with her first. So, seeing the transition between her, her, her leaving him and then going to the, the, the Hawk, also very interesting. Like, what caused that to happen? Maybe, maybe when the team probably broke up, them two is probably since they worked together so much before, helped them form a relationship, and, and Dick went, kind of got, probably maybe got cold and just pushed her away. And she ran right into the, hawk, the arms of Hawk. That probably would happen. I don't know. But either who, great episode. Looking forward to see how the story is going to end, how it's going to, how it's going to continue. Looking forward to seeing that. I, I like how the design of um, of, Dark, of Deathstroke. I like how he looks. I wish he had a little, added a little more color to it. Especially with the, with the whole orange and black situation with, with the eye thing. Because sometimes he kind of looks more like, like Deadshot to me than the actual Deathstroke. But that's, it is what it is. But it, it, but his costume design looks b way better than they, they did for Doctor Light. So that's the, only, that's the only costume design I don't like. Yeah. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of, of Titans. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. So give my channel a like, hit the, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate, it, like I always say, in my dreams and my life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.